Yonder, your, your impressions on getting traded. For some guys, you know, they don't like it when they're traded, but for you, when you have Joey Votto ahead of you, how much were you looking forward to the opportunity to go, to go elsewhere? Well, I was definitely looking forward to it. Obviously, I learned so much from Joey Votto. Um, you know, you talk about a guy that's a leader. First of all, you're talking about a guy that's one of the best in the game, and you definitely learn a lot from him, um, just the way he carries himself on the field, but outside the field. So it was uh, special to see. And, uh, you know, but now I'm, I'm looking forward to a new chapter in my life and in my career, and uh, just looking forward to it. Do you feel as though at this point, is this, is this first first base job yours to lose? Or what's your approach as you're in spring training? You know, I just got to challenge myself every day to get better. Uh, you know, I don't really worry about the outcome of, uh, of the situation. That's I let that for Buddy Black and uh, the front office guys. But my job is to be ready and, and uh, show a good uh, show and uh, just enjoy myself and hopefully it becomes a, a good game. A couple weeks here in spring training. Thoughts on, thoughts on this new clubhouse and your new teammates? It's been good. Uh, the guys are great. Uh, they're very, very, uh, very happy, very positive. Um, it's something that that I'm very uh, useful, uh, used to. So uh, just looking forward to it, and, and I'm very happy and excited. When you're in spring training, though, what what takes more time to get acclimated to? Is it the defense at first base? Is it playing with the new team, new infield, mm -hmm. or is it the hitting? I think it's everything. To be honest with you, you just got to play the game. You got to get games in you, and you. you you know, I think like about 10 or 15 games you got to get in and you got to enjoy yourself and, and obviously learn every single day. But, you know, obviously after that, then uh, you're, you're more into the grind of things and, and you're ready to go. And quick scouting report on the pitchers that you've seen on this Padres team so far. I know Cashner's gotten all the buzz. Mm -hmm. Is it is it true what we'll be we here about with this Cashner, fastball? Cashner's good. Cashner can bring it. Um, but not only can he bring it, but he can spot it and he, he's got a good breaking ball. But, you know, Volquez is pretty good. Uh, Mosley's pretty good too. So, uh no, it's going to be special. You, uh, you're, you're from Cuba. You had that. You, you moved when you were what, ten years old. Um, who, who are some of the baseball influences? There's some great players that have come from Cuba right. and played baseball in, in the states. Well, there's quite a few. Um, the, the most that have come over has been pitchers, but uh, you know, uh, you know, from from a standpoint of myself, I, I feel like I've gotten a little bit from everybody. Um, I just enjoy the game. I, I try to be a student of the game. And uh, Barry Bonds was pretty big for me. Um, Alex Rodriguez was huge, and uh, you know, a couple of the lefty guys were, were also pretty big. And Tino Martinez and Tony Gwynn. And, you know, guys like that. Adrian Gonzalez was pretty big for me right now. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to learning a little bit from those guys. Have you, you can make Adrian feel really old if you tell him that when you were a kid. I know, he's, used to pretty, watch him he's play. very young, but, but <laughs> I've been watching him play since the Marlins days. So that's pretty, pretty long time ago. That's right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. You got it.